making better decisions in the D.C. Joining us today to speak about that, Roger Cunahan, Chief Revenue Officer at Cognit Ops. Roger, good to see you, welcome. Good morning, Russell, thanks for having me. Roger, I think it's fair to say that in the typical DC, there are any number of systems that are operative, but uh, quite frankly, there are some limitations with existing systems. So if you would, take a moment, walk us through some of those, those uh, challenges that you see, those limitations, what would they be? Yeah, absolutely, thanks. So the existing software stack in the distribution center is heavily reliant on outdated technologies and very focused on individual transactional data sets. So inventory sets, uh, lists of orders, um, pick tickets, um, or individual machine control tasks. But there's a massive limitation on what and how the users and the operators can actually digest that information. They're very reliant on operations managers to be data super users, to be digesting information from many different screens, to be using ad hoc tools like BI, Excel, access databases. They're prolific across the distribution center environment. And it's not helping the operator with what they actually need. Uh, the supply chain complexity, speed, and the customer demands now have exceeded the cognitive capacity of human operators within a distribution center. We are asking them to continuously optimize against constraints, against labor shortages and inventory shortages. With this entire show has brought so many exciting new technologies and robotics and goods to person systems that are creating a speed and a deluge of data that the operations manager has to continually digest. And further, that is causing them to spend a tremendous amount of time off the distribution center floor in their offices looking at analysis, trying to figure out what's happening and not working with their team members. And we know there's a major retention problem, there's a major turnover problem in the warehouse, and the best way to address that is to have managers engaged with their team members. Hmm. You know, that's an excellent, uh, I think, drill down into the challenges that uh, folks are meeting, operators are meeting in the warehouse in the DC. But let's talk now about how we might go about dealing with that, how might we solve that? So the question is this, artificial intelligence, AI, is it something that can make things more efficient? Can it make things, uh, operations smarter? So what's your view on that? Yes, absolutely. The amount of data that is generated in a distribution center is perfect for data science type applications. We have all of these different types and distributions of data that can be fed in real time to create time series type data that can simplify everything that's going on in the distribution center. We can use the massive computing power of the cloud to digest all of this stream of information, build predictions about what will happen next in the distribution center, and then simply present to the operator, what is the next step or decision that I should make to improve my performance? And allow them to drill into it, find out why the system might be recommending that, but also just make it simple to follow a notification on moving their team, readjusting their resources, aligning their robotic systems or configuring their order releases in different ways that will maximize the performance of the entire building. As opposed to all of the systems that are very focused on one specific functional area, which might optimize kind of a specific part of the operation, what artificial intelligence or any other data science type model can do is assess a broad and changing dynamic. It can identify interconnections across buildings that maybe people don't understand. Something upstream in receiving or put away that's actually slowing down our shipping dock or causing some type of a blockage in our packing process. Where at, because those areas are different in different systems, they typically have different leadership or supervisors, it's hard to find those connections across a complex environment, and that's perfect for the massive capabilities of data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence. You know, I got to say, Roger, you make a, a persuasive argument that I need 
uh, AI in my in my uh, operation. So mm -hmm. let me put on my warehouse operator, DC operator, a hat for a moment mm -hmm. and say I want to implement the technology that you're speaking about. I'm, I'm persuaded. What do I knew, uh, uh, need to do to be ready to apply AI in my operations? Tell me that, walk me through yeah, that. Yeah, well the great news is that it's actually very simple to start to move into this type of environment. Your existing data sets, your existing transactional systems can all stay in place. They're going to manage the mission critical execution of one task, of one pick, of managing what orders were shipped, but we're going to simply build some connections that's going to connect and stream all of that data into a cloud data lake or, and digital twin that's going to allow us to generate insights from all of that data. So simply understanding what your data landscape looks like and then starting to work with the leadership of your buildings to say, what is the right place for us to adopt new technologies? Where do we have users that are willing to kind of think about changing their process and um, identify where we have supervisors that are kind of overloaded with information? That's really where we want to help and see them start to explore the applications of predictive and prescriptive technologies. Mm -hmm. Interesting, most interesting. Uh, but final question, I want to I want to bring this on home and talk about Cognit Ops itself. Yeah. Walk us through how it is that you are optimizing the operations of your customers, because I think the viewers want to hear that. So what do you say? Yeah, absolutely. So Cognit Ops is a data science-based warehouse optimization platform that helps the operators, directors, or supervisors within a distribution center make better and faster decisions. It tries to emulate the tribal knowledge and experience of operators who've been in place for a long time by creating a historical and continuous time series data set that's telling us in real time what is the current status of the building and where is the building going to be going? What do we think we will accomplish at the end of the shift or at the end of the night or when the trucks are leaving the dock and where are their risks and what are the specific actions the users can take to improve those outcomes. So we start with the outcomes, we present simple, plain text notifications that alert an operator, hey, it's time to make a change, and then allow them to implement it based on uh, the systems that they're used to. Great information. Where is your warehouse operation going? Listen, mm -hmm. Roger, I know that you, uh, as an exhibitor here, are very, very busy at the uh, at the trade show, but you found time to speak with us. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Russell, and appreciate your time. It's Roger Cunahan, Cognit Ops, speaking with us today about operations, optimizing those in your warehouse. Thanks for watching.